How you doing, guys? Um, I'm going to read a, a short statement. I never thought I'm going to have to say this, but LeBron James is the GOAT. Yes, I said it. I never thought these words would come out of my mouth, ever. But there comes a time, though, when you have to reflect and give up the resistance and admit your mistake. I admit, and again repeat, LeBron is the undisputed GOAT, greatest of all time. In turnovers. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Again, don't get me wrong here and jump out of your seat and get all emotional and scream to the heavens because I dare to attack and belittle your King LeBron. LeBron to me is a great basketball talent. He has accomplished much, but some of the stuff like his constant whining complaining and especially telling everyone he's the best to ever play the game. See how everyone saw me crying like that was all for 52 years of everything in sports going on in Cleveland. And then after I stopped, I was like, that one right there made you the greatest player of all time. All that bragging means one thing to most people. Insecurity. To me, MJ is the real GOAT. And this is the response that a confident man gives that simply lets his work speak for itself. Now, before I play that for you, if you agree that MJ is the GOAT, just sub my channel. It's free, helps me a lot, and will lead to more great anti-LeBron videos. Remember, MJ never backed down from anyone. If he lost, he always got his revenge and never, ever, ever got called out by his own teammates for quitting on the team like this. I can't get over the fact that he didn't show up in Dallas. Not only, the, not because I was Neither. on the team. I not agree. that I was on the team. But you're going to say somebody that quit in the finals at the end of everything when all the marbles on the, on the table, but that you're going to say he's the greatest of all time. I can't, I can't buy Thank that. Thank you. Here is the real GOAT when he gets asked, who's the greatest of all time? If you care about being called the greatest basketball player ever. Does that does that matter? Do you want that? Uh, I don't want it in a sense because I think it disrespects Will Chamberlain, uh, Jerry West, you know, all the guys that prior to me I never had a chance to play against. Now let's get back to the subject of the damn video. Sorry about that, but I had to get that phony goat talk out of the way ASAP. So yes, this is 100% true. LeBron James is the greatest of all time in turnovers, my friends. LeBron James is number one with 4,922 turnovers listed on the basketball reference site right now as I'm recording this video. The second guy there is Carl Malone with 4,524 turnovers. Now stop. Stop screaming, LeBron fanatics. Yes, we all know LeBron has the ball in his hands a lot during the game. LeBron has been on an NBA court for 53,000 minutes, for God's sake. And he's a playmaker a lot of the time. I know. LeBron James has played a total of, like I said, 53,700 minutes in his career so far. He's averaging, for his career, 3.5 turnovers per game. His worst season ever was at 4.2 turnovers a game. Now let's look at the top playmakers in the top 10 of turnovers of all time. That would be a player like a John Stockton, for example, who has an 18-year career. He played a total of 47,764 minutes in his career and averaged 2.8 turnovers per game. Comparing him to LeBron, Stockton played about 6,000 minutes less than James. Now, if we do the simple math and take that 6,000 minutes and divide it by 32 minutes per game Stockton averaged, it comes out that he would have played an additional 187 games to equal James's minutes. Now, if we take that 187 games, multiply it by 2.8, which Stockton averaged per game in turnovers, it gives us an additional 
525 turnovers that he would have. Now that would give Stockton a total of 4,769 turnovers, still almost 2,000 turnovers per game less than James. Stockton's worst turnover season was 3.8, by the way, compared to LeBron's 4.2. Now let's look at Isaiah Thomas, who is number 10 on that list. He had a shorter career, but a higher average of turnovers per game than James, and he was relied upon for scoring too. Thomas averaged 3.8 turnovers a game, almost 4. He played a total of 35,500 minutes in his career. That is 18,200 minutes less than LeBron James. Now let's take the 18,200 minutes and divide it by the average minutes Thomas played per game, which is 36.3. That gives us an additional 501 games that Thomas would have to play to even LeBron's minutes played. If we do the math and take that 501 games and multiply it, by 3.8 turnovers per game Thomas averaged, he would end up with 5,585 turnovers for his career while matching LeBron James's minutes played. He would have had more turnovers than James if that's the case, no question. Now if this example does not prove to you that totals don't really mean shit in the GOAT debate, then you really need to educate yourself. There's no way in hell that LeBron is a better overall basketball player than Michael Jordan. In a more limited time in his playing career, MJ played a total of 1,039 games to LeBron's 1,408. If we did the same kind of math on scoring, in the 1,408 games LeBron amassed 38,352 points to MJ's 32,292. With Michael playing an extra 369 games, which he played less than James, to get that calculation, and if we only have MJ average 20 points per game for those games, by the way, MJ's career average is 30.1, we're taking 10 points off for age and stuff, MJ would end up with a staggering 39,672 point total. Way more than James. That's just a points total. MJ would have killed LeBron in that stat too. In five years less on the court, MJ still has more league MVPs, more finals MVPs, more championships, more all defensive selections while scoring more points. There literally is no conversation here. None. There is no debate. If it's on TV, it's because it sells and ESPN makes money from advertisements. That's the only reason. If money is not involved, viewership not involved, and just a regular conversation between friends in a man cave or something, there is no argument whatsoever for James being the GOAT. Goats don't quit, and especially goats don't get called out for quitting on their team and i'm not saying called out by fans i'm saying called out by their own teammates i thank you for watching this video if you like it please like it and subscribe to my channel so you can get another video that's going to come out in about a week thank you guys please support i just crossed my 1000 subscribers Amazing. I hope I can grow a lot faster, produce a lot more good videos, so both sides will be happy and satisfied. Thanks again.